Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Is the outsourcing sector still going to expand in the Philippines? Uh, I think it's still in its infancy, to be honest. Um, I do think they need to pull the finger out with some of the quality because it's why some of it ended up there from India in the first place. Uh, but I do think there's a lot more technical stuff that can be done. I do think there's a lot more stuff that can be done on graphics, um, CAD, um, administration, um, even down to management of sites, and etc. for offshoring. Um, because I know in my industry, one of the, the big holes that go through is administration. We lose administrators every time they decide to save money. Um, the reality is it doesn't save any money because those managing end up doing administration instead of managing which long term actually causes more damage than it was saving. So yes, but it's getting people to uh, cotton on to where they can actually make a saving at the same time increase productivity and produce a better quality service. So. The, the Philippines outsourcing is going to continue to increase and as soon as somebody hits that niche right for example where I work in the facilities management um, once that hits right for help desk services um, the data administration data processing the invoicing quotations etc when somebody gets that formula right they will swallow up a lot of the business quite rapidly purely because they they've hit on something that nobody else has uh, managed to work out properly um, so yeah, the BPO industry um, is going to continue to increase in the Philippines. Um, so be be aware of it, and if you've got something that you know could be done better offshore, have a look at it. There might be an opportunity for you to actually move out of the Philippines and start a small business that could eventually earn, end up in to becoming quite a large one. All right, thanks for watching.